Hi guys, welcome back to the Paxton Creek Gardens uh, weekly tour and harvest series. Uh, today we're gonna look at how the garden is doing. Um, there is a lot more things happening in the garden. Um, we have bottle gourd that is finally growing uh, and start to, about to start uh, produce uh, flowers and we also got a lot more cucumber produce production we harvested almost every other two days and a lot uh, you will see at the end of the video and we also got a lot more eggplants growing we have finally high sun beans that is that has started to produce cow beans have started to produce and uh, a lot more paper harvest um, so let's get started So here is the overview of my garden. Um, on the left, uh, you can see cucumber in the raised bed, and then eggplants, and then tomatoes. And then we got here some container garden, which I have some um, holy basil varieties, and some paper varieties, and then I have one earth bed that has uh, bell pepper in it. And then here are some container with uh, taro leaves or, or we call it patra leaves and here are some flowers so without any further ado let's uh, zoom in and let's look at this prolific uh, cucumber <laughs> plant uh, I have two plants in this uh, jungle I would say and uh, they've been producing heavily you will see at the end we have almost harvested 50 plus cucumbers out of these four plants that I have throughout my garden. The, uh, among them, these are the two. So I am loving it every two days. We got some harvest. And here you can see I prune them a lot um, at, at that height. Um, that is just because uh, eggplants were getting a lot more shadowing and that's why I did it. And here you can see there are a lot more female flowers that are setting. Some are like these, some are a little bigger. Some have been pollinated. So here is another one you can see coming up and uh, so far this plant uh, is doing great uh, i love it and here you can see another female flower so all in all this plant is doing very well and you will see some bigger cucumbers later in the video um, and here is the bigger one i'll probably harvest in a day or two similar with this one uh, probably ready in a day or two uh, by the time I post this video, I think all, all three or four of these size cucumbers will be ready to harvest. They grow real quick, you know, within a day or two, they will fill up. So, um, you want to make sure you keep uh, looking out for the new cucumbers that are on your plant and keep harvesting. That way you can keep, uh, you keep getting more and more cucumbers to harvest. And here again, you, see, you can see the cleaning up that uh, cucumber plant uh, in trimming the leaves will help uh, with this eggplant down here and some marigold plants that I got and allow them to grow. And here, uh, you know, this plant here is a black beauty eggplant and it hasn't been, it hasn't been doing so well so lately because of that uh, all shadow that um, and uh, it's the shadow that it gets and lack of sunlight so hopefully now it will get more sunlight and will be able to grow um, so that's my hope with this pruning and look at the uh, the vines uh, for, for for our cucumber they're almost touching the sky <laughs> so uh, again I'm loving this uh, pl uh, plant um, it has uh, produced good uh, uh, amount of cucumbers and here is the plant um, I got uh, four varieties. So this is uh, Black Beauty eggplant variety, and you you will notice that some of uh, the leaves are damaged from a bug. Uh, they've been chewing on them lately. I haven't been able to uh, spray neem oil or uh, spinach or any of it. So hopefully this weekend I'll be able to do it, but um, I'm not sure. Um, so if I get a chance, I'll do it. Uh, I have to do it later in the evening. So that's when I, I will be doing some other stuff. So I didn't get a chance so far. And here is the Black Beauty eggplant, the first one that um, it has started to fill. 
and produce and hopefully that will grow in, in a big, uh, larger size and we'll, I'll show you in the coming weeks. So there are uh, three or four it has already set and we'll love to harvest such a big eggplants. <laughs> and we'll share recipe with, with it too. So that's uh, all in all this one plant is doing better compared to I got I had uh, three of them and one, only one is doing good, better. I made a mistake planting them right beside cucumber so that was on me and here are some uh, uh, Japanese eggplant they are doing great all four plants um, we have harvested about four or five already off of them and there are a lot of them that are set so hopefully in upcoming weeks we'll have a lot more to harvest with eggplants um, all you have to do is fertilize every 15 days and water them real well they, they will need water to grow more, um, grow, grow bigger and more eggplants. So make sure you water them um, well. And uh, if possible, deep water or do a drip like I have, uh, and it does water them twice a day on drip. Uh, the setting that I use needs twice a day watering. So you want to make sure the, you follow your weather and water them accordingly. You don't want to overwater as well at the same time. So here are some early purple long variety. We harvested a lot of it too. And uh, here in on this plant you can see a lot of flea beetles. Again, I didn't get a chance to spray either neem oil or spinosaur for almost three, four weeks now. So um, that's it. that is why those bugs are coming back up. And um, I need to catch up on uh, um, spraying uh, neem oil and spinosaur. So hopefully by the time you will see next video, I will have this bug problem gone again. Um, and here, are, it's this variety is also real prolific. The early purple, early purple, early purple long variety eggplant. <laughs> they produce real. Uh, uh, real uh, small uh, eggplants in the diameter, but they are real long. So um, they don't have uh, any seed. Almost they don't have no seeds at all. You know, and the seeds that they have are real tiny. So um, we are liking it. And here are the round eggplant that I have planted. And as you can see, there are a lot more fruits that have set, and there are a lot more flowers that are coming and blooming. And lately bees are showing up, so they are taking care of the pollination job. Here is another um, yeah, round egg plant uh, variety plant. I have about four in this row. And that's the only other thing that I noticed. I planted all of my eggplants very close. I think next year what I will do is instead of planting eggplant per um, one per square foot, I'll plant one per um, two square foot or, or three square foot. So that way we'll have more space and they'll be able to grow more and produce uh, produce more eggplants. Here what's happening is they're fighting for sunlight and that kind of sometimes prevent plants from producing. So, And here is the Japanese eggplant, you know, that are still on the plant. These are, these will, these are about half of, half of their full size. So they will still have a lot to grow and uh, you will see when, when I show you the harvest video, you will see how long they can actually grow. They are almost about a foot or more. So um, they are real good and I recommend uh, this variety to grow. Um, and here are again the round variety of eggplants. You can see the fruit has set and it's blooming. And uh, here is the early purple long variety. That's the size they grow about, you know, they, that's the time you want to harvest it at. They don't grow too large and they don't they don't uh, fill up like the other eggplants. They stay skinny and that's about it. So harvest them at that size. And here are some uh, round eggplants that are set. And I harvested some and I left some on because they were smaller at the time. And now they are about, to, they are uh, kind of like half of their size that they would be. And with eggplants, you want to harvest them young well and tender otherwise you you will have a lot of seed problems so that is it for eggplants and here is my tomato bed um, tomatoes are filling up though because of heat and uh, 
sometimes i think uh, it has to do with some watering or i think pollination i don't know bees are not interested in tomato flower or what not um yeah but tomato flower also pollinate with uh, uh you know wind so i don't know what's going on but as you saw that i'm having the flower dropping problem blossom drop problem um so i'm trying to pollinate but i think it's the weather that is too hot and here you can see the tomatoes are growing bigger and bigger by the day and uh, hopefully within two three weeks we'll be able to start harvesting them not even two three weeks i think a week um, since this is almost a july end so probably a week and we'll see some tomatoes turning red um, and uh, i got two varieties like i always said um, i have better boy and celebrity tomato this year so here is a celebrity tomato that's the biggest one on celebrity uh, plant and i will love to see that one turn red soon <laughs> and i have also provided uh, some supports throughout uh, to support this growing tomato plants and that's what you want to do you know i have tied some with uh, the strings and some without and you can see I, 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 you want to provide enough support otherwise what will happen is when the storm comes in your tomato stems will break so uh, you don't want to lose your tomato plants and uh, again because of heat a lot of the tomato uh, fruit flowering set will drop their flower and maybe only one or two will uh, be pollinated and um, they will start to grow fruit so um, that may be a good thing and a bad thing so good thing in a way is if you only have two tomatoes set then they will grow bigger and larger and uh, that's the thing you you get benefit from but then you will lose quantity so depending on what you like you might uh, be okay with it or you might see it as a problem i think i see it as a problem i would like my tomatoes like this not like only two fruit like here so i, I would like to and here you know to just two fruits so i'm hoping they will grow big and uh, this is the tomato bed uh, overview and uh, so far we don't have any blight issue or anything but just we are having a blossom drop issue and that is because I believe temperatures are above 90 degree Fahrenheit and uh, they just pollen is not viable after temperatures are 90, 90 fair, uh, Fahrenheit anything above that will um, have will have pollination issue so that's what I'm having I believe so and that's why you will see a lot of uh, flower that will turn uh, flower stems that will turn yellow and then drop and I made a video on that so be sure to check that one out and here is the container garden tour now uh, that is it about four tomatoes here are my patra leaves they are doing so great we harvested them twice and we made uh, two different recipes with it and we are loving it again uh, like i have always mentioned we use the leaves not the roots or the bulbs we use leaves and that's what we grow it for to use leaves uh, uh, with taro everything is edible you know the from the leaves to the stem to the you know to the bulbs so it's real nice and they are doing well and here are my bell pepper bell pepper again that with that i'm also having issues of flower dropping and that is probably because of the temperatures um, they are going above 90 almost every day um, during last uh, so many weeks and so, though there is a, that issue there are some that are set um, and uh, producing so um, hopefully as we uh, approach uh, mid-august uh, we'll see more flowers that will set fruit and we'll see a lot more bell pepper but meanwhile they are growing because i'm watering it so that's what you want to do if you are living in a hot climate or you know every uh, pretty much even in pennsylvania zone 6b we are seeing uh, a weather that is 90 degree fahrenheit and above so you want to make sure you keep watering it and provide fertilizer every 15 days so the plant will stay healthy and start producing more once the temperature shifts toward um, the uh, the down range so once temperature drops below 90 then they will you will see more flowers that will set fruit and start producing so make sure your plants stay healthy during this hot summer months and some plants like it like cucumber likes it i think uh, 
um, the other um, other eggplants also like some hot weather they don't drop flowers in hot weather unless it goes extremely hot but eggplants and cucumber tend to like these temperatures so I'm having good success with them during these months and uh, here I think uh, the, uh, I told you about this right I thought it was a beef stick tomato and it turned out to be Roma tomato and I pruned it but I think it is gonna have my first ripe tomato so we'll look forward to that and here are some pepper plants the chili pepper plants the hot variety and they've been doing well uh, they are also dropping some flower but very less compared to others like you can see here that is yellow and will eventually drop if I don't remove it so when I see it I just remove it you know you don't have to do that but I just I just tend to remove it I don't like seeing the yellow flower and it's pollinated you just gently tap on it or just shake the plant and that will drop you know uh, pollen on the male uh, from male part to female part of the flower because in peppers in eggplants in tomatoes uh, the male and female parts are in the same flower so all you need to do is gently tap on them or shake the plant gently that will drop enough pollen and make sure you do it on dry day not a humid day because if it's humid then it won't drop pollen so here is the jalapeno plant and it's been producing okay again I think that the hot weather got to jalapenos or I think I'm behind on fertilizing this um, container garden so maybe both a combination of both uh, could be the reason behind the production of jalapeno but hot peppers this chili variety uh, that you saw Lee here and then I got a lot more of them there they've been producing you know so I don't know what's up with jalapenos but uh, they are not uh, producing at this point so I'll see if once the temperature goes down they will, might start producing again and here are some flowers to attract bee, bumblebees and the holy basil varieties bumblebees like and love this holy basil variety they, they will be attracted to a lot and here is the bottle gourd plant doing so good so far we did the first G cutting on it so now second generation branches are growing and we'll do the 3G cutting to get the third generation branches so and I'll make a detailed video on how to do 3G cutting on a on a bottle gourd plant so stay tuned for that and here are some uh, zucchini uh, seeds that I planted in uh, June and they have started to grow and uh, some more uh, hot chili pepper plant that they are producing um, so again all in all I think uh, I'll see some big harvest starting mid-August <laughs> uh, till, uh, till October I think uh, that will be the big harvest months and uh, this is the cucumber plant again I'm loving this cucumber variety that I planted this year they've been producing so many cucumbers you know we had cucumbers in our lunch and dinner both times and we have almost five to seven people eating every day so you can imagine how many cucumbers we harvested and I'm just loving it you know this uh, I'll plant them next year but next year I, I, I want also want to um, try the cucumber variety that is called bait alpha cucumber variety what what this cucumber is a Mediterranean variety cucumber bait alpha cucumber variety and it is mainly used in a greenhouse purpose and since it is developed for greenhouse it only sets female flower so you will get flower female flower on every node and that will become cucumber without pollination so that's why I want to do that and here is the zucchini plant um, this one was doing not so well in the beginning of the season but now it's doing well we have harvested one zucchini off of it so far and this is the second third and fourth now it looks like it's healthy and now it will start producing more and more and here are the marigolds that I like you know look at the beautiful color and they also keep some of the pests away so marigold are highly recommended they will attract bumblebees and they will keep the some of the pests away and here is the mint garden uh, we got a lot more mint growing though it has taken a good amount of beating from the heat and sun uh, and uh, 
we have tried to water it uh, but uh, I am behind on watering schedule in the mint too and here is the mint that I removed um, this variety of mint I forgot what it's called but we are not liking the flavor in our tea that's where we use mint mainly and we are only liking the spear mint variety so that's what I'm keeping on that side and perhaps I'll put a boundary and use this space here for some other purpose um, so we'll see what I'll do next season but for right now it's the main and here is again the marigold I have planted a lot of them throughout the garden and here are the cow beans you know they have started to put out and uh, hopefully again in a week or so we will see a lot more of them um, and we'll be able to harvest them and the, uh, here are some more um, but these are a little behind um, but hopefully in a week or so they will be able to start uh, putting a flower and then on the week we'll see the, see the wasps love to pollinate this so be careful when you go harvesting cow, cow beans, high sun beans if you have a pigeon peas uh, or any other wasps love the sugar these beans are sweet and wasps will be there they will help pollinate your flowers so don't um, you know kill wasps but uh, be careful you know when you go harvest them or you know, try to pull weed out of them and here is the zucchini plant that I want to I want to grow across this channel that has been created so hopefully that will grow big and it will give us some zucchinis um, and again here are some more cow beans they are all, some of them are ready to harvest but I don't have enough quantity so I'm not gonna harvest them at the moment uh, maybe in a week or two we'll have enough quantity that can feed my family so that's when we'll, I'll harvest so all in all we got about 4x4 four four, um, section that has it then there is another 2x4 section that has it so eventually uh, in the mid August or so it will produce enough um, for us and here are some high sun beans. I got two varieties. One on the left is called the Surti uh, variety and on the right is uh, the Valor variety. So we'll see how they do. And here you can see they have already set. So on the left, this one is a, a bush variety and on the right, you, the ones that you saw are the vining variety. So uh, as you can see, they have taken over my blueberry plant and uh, by the end of the season you will see that uh, how, you know here is the line and it will pretty much take over the, over the uh, blueberry bush uh, and here is the marigold um, that it has already taken over some more marigolds and uh, that is it uh, there is a periwink uh, that are coming up winkas and that should produce uh, good looking flowers and that is it here is how the side garden looks from a distance and hope uh, you enjoyed this video uh, so now let's look at the harvest uh, next and you will be amazed on how many cucumbers we harvested so now let's take a look at the harvest first one is uh, the patra leaves that we harvested this uh, during these two weeks and uh, we it turned out great we had a great patra uh, that we made um, you can look it up on Google how to make patra and you will see great recipes so that's what we made uh, with these leaves and I kind of did some trimming with um, you know by harvesting and here you can see how many leaves we harvested a lot um, pretty much it was able to feed my entire family um, for two meals um, again cooked with a recipe not just the leaves <laughs> so don't confuse there don't get confused there and here is the bell pepper we harvested couple not many um, and uh, that was earlier in the week uh, and again like I, I mentioned uh, we were having some problem with flower dropping and I believe mostly it is because of the temperatures so we'll see if it uh, improves once the temperature goes down again and uh, I have harvested a couple here today and um, also harvested some before um, so bell peppers I like it um, they're 
they're good, uh, they go with everything, so. And here are some jalapenos uh, that I already had picked up before starting to shoot the videos and one um, Italian pepper so here is uh, one more bell pepper that I'll pick up and that's about it for bell peppers um, during these two weeks. And it's pretty decent size, not too big though. And here are the harvest for that day. And here I'm gonna show you how we harvest cucumber during the last two weeks. There were a lot. Again, I'm, I, I think we harvested almost 50 off of the four set of plants that we have. And I say set of plants is because I have two, two plants in every section. So two here, two in each container that I have. And they are decent sized cucumbers, not too many seeds and uh, uh, pretty good they, they are all all sweet they don't test bitter you know sometimes you have uh, bitterness issue in cucumbers we don't have it so i'm liking it and you will see you know pretty much every day we picked uh, every other day we picked about uh, eight or nine um, starting last week i think uh, so starting last week we have been getting a lot many cucumbers before that, it started with three, four, you know, and then it got uh, bigger and bigger harvest every other other day. <laughs> so um, I, I'm loving this variety again. Uh, but uh, next year, as I mentioned, I do want to try and plant uh, bait alpha cucumber variety. That one is a Mediterranean variety, and it is seedless, um, and uh, it only has female flowers it only produces female flowers so um, that would be nice and I can single stem it and get a lot more harvest and he, you, here you can see even this variety is pretty good it has produced a lot many cucumbers you know they are decent size and t great t testing and um, we, uh, you know almost uh, seeds are very tiny when you harvest them young at this size look at the decent size and here are the three on um, some days here are you know six some days nine ten and some days you know five six so here are the some days that I recorded but we trust me we have harvested a lot many <laughs> and I will continue to harvest so I'm happy with my cucumber plants and here is the eggplants that are getting ready so here is the Japanese variety eggplant as I mentioned they grow about a foot long or more than a foot long and this is the size you want to harvest them at um, they don't have that many seeds and uh, again harvest them young uh, at about this size and you won't have a seed issue and uh, fresh eggplants will test a lot better compared to the grocery store bought ones so um, i recommend growing your own eggplants um, and here you can see decent size um, and uh, bugs haven't damaged them on um, the most part and here are a couple I'm gonna leave them there um, let it grow and here are the round variety eggplants uh, and that's the size it will grow to so here is the perfect size to harvest that but uh, I'm gonna harvest a couple more just because um, I don't have that many eggplants at the moment so you know that's the perfect size palmful big and that's the size you want to harvest this variety at but um, I'm gonna harvest a couple of, of more that are younger than that um, just so that we can use it in, in, in the supper <laughs> uh, with one eggplant you can do much so and this being separate varieties we will cook them separately no we won't mix and match in uh, making the one meal so here is the another one real big and even though they are this big they will still be tender and nice and very very less seeds inside so um, that's that's the size that they grow to um, so you want to make sure that uh, you want to check out the size um, that uh, you want to harvest your eggplant at 
Uh, there are a lot of varieties of eggplants and they each grow about different size and uh, they each need to be harvested at different stages. So here is the early purple long variety and here you can see they have started to crack but still there are no seeds. I cut one open uh, and there were no seeds. So I'm liking it. I'm gonna harvest all of these and um, they, they only grow to this size. You know, they, they are skinny but long and uh, almost seedless you know there are no seeds at all i mean they have seeds but they are real tiny so you know almost no seeds that's what i i would say and uh, i'm liking this variety as well so all three variety all four varieties actually the fourth one is black beauty but they haven't started uh, they have started to produce but they are not ready for harvest so all three the other varieties that are ready to harvest you know here you can see I cut one open and there is almost no seed. So I really recommend the early purple long variety. And here is the harvest you can see. And real nice harvest for eggplants. I think we are good for almost two weeks. <laughs> so and it, it will continue to produce meanwhile. So I think I like it. Uh, all, all four varieties are good. And here is the photo. We did a little photo session that this day when I harvested the eggplants. And you know, you can see uh, these are definitely good for two weeks. We are not gonna cook eggplants every day, so <laughs> or maybe three weeks even. So um, and I also harvested a couple cucumber that day. And here is the early purple wrong variety that I cut open again, and you can see there are almost no seeds. So this variety is real good if you don't like seeds. Um, and similar with uh, this variety, but I haven't cut that open, so I'll, I'll let you know how they turn out. But I'm supposed to harvest them at, at this um, size. This is the ideal size for these eggplants. So we'll see how they, uh, they feel tender, so hopefully they are pretty good and uh, very less seeds. And here are some jalapeno that I, I harvested that day, a couple of cucumbers and um, a couple of uh, Italian uh, peppers. They kind of look like banana pepper, but I don't know. And cucumbers, I'm loving it. Again, That plant, those four plants are producing so many cucumbers. We are pretty much having it uh, twice a day, you know, and we, we almost use two, three cucumbers. Uh, per each meal so you can that can tell how much they are producing and here are some uh, other pepper Italian pepperoncini or something I, I forgot the name but that is it folks uh, for today's uh, bi-weekly tour and harvest video I know it was real long but hope you enjoyed it uh, please do like this video and also share this video with your friends and family and don't forget don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon at the end and that will keep you up to date um, with our channel so thank you see you in the next bi-weekly tour